Hi, I'd like to welcome you back to another edition of Our Take on Cruise with Roger and Shannon or Shannon and Roger. My name is Roger Blum with Cruise and Port Advisors and Shannon will be joining us in a few minutes because this is a split edition. As I told you last week, I was heading off to Mazatlan, Mexico where I now am at the FCCA, Florida Caribbean Cruise Association Conference and Trade Show. Mazatlan has done a phenomenal job. When I used to work at sea, I probably came to Mazatlan almost a hundred times. I spent a long time out on the west coast uh, doing the Pacific coast of Mexico sailing from California. But the transformation in particular in the old city, which is the part of Mazatlan that's the closest to the port, is incredible. Last night they did a function there. We walked, we actually had a parade. I'll show you some pictures through the old city fireworks, dancers, culminating in this incredible event. The city looked fantastic. Mazatlan has really changed. It's come a long way, great destination. As far as the conference, it's been much busier than I could have imagined. A lot of people came from the Caribbean. It's a long trip to get to Mazatlan. Um, lots of cruise executives, and the theme has been really overwhelmingly positive. Um, Josh Weinstein, the um, CEO of Carnival Corporation, uh, did the opening keynote yesterday and just talked about how the cruise industry is really back, not to 2019 levels, exceeding 2019 levels. Um, bookings are great, revenue is great, yields is great, but he did mention that the debt service and the amount of debt is something hanging over the industry that they're still working on. As far as Mexico, the Mexican ports are doing wonderful. They're really represented here, not just the Pacific coast, the Caribbean ports, and Mexico and the Caribbean region still is the number one area to cruise in the world. So things are great. It's been a great conference. Um, lots of CEOs here. We've had Rick Sasso's been here, Josh Weinstein that I mentioned. We've had um, John Hadgett from Princess here, uh, Gus and Torture from Holland America, and lots of itinerary planners, lots of shore excursion people. Procurement is a, another big thing that they've been focusing on, bringing in, purchasing more supplies locally. That's been a big theme of this conference. So they've done a great job with that also. Um, and also employment, hiring more people from the region. So it's been a really great conference. That's all I'm going to say because I know Shannon's got a lot to talk about. So Shannon, it's all yours now and I'll see you next week. Bye. Hey Roger, wow, it looks like you're having a great time down in Mazalan for the FCCA conference. I am so sad that we had to miss it this year. I love Mazalan. Now, I don't think I've been there as many times as you, but I definitely used to spend some time there when we would sail back in, woo, I would say back in the late 90s and we would go into Mazatlan. So I'm sure a lot has changed, but the parties looked fantastic. Unfortunately, the Access Cruise team, we had to divide and conquer. I'm back here in Miami because I had to take care of a few projects, one of them being the project for our take on cruise that you and I've been working on so diligently and we're looking to announce in the new year. But in addition, Linda Vasquez from Access Cruise, well, she headed over the pond over to Madrid for the International Cruise Summit. And that's done with David Selby, one of our fellow Cruise Professional Advisors Alliance members. So she is going to be on a panel and they're gonna be talking about emerging destinations as well as island destinations. And we certainly have quite a few of those within the Access Cruise portfolio. We work with several of those small emerging destinations as a part of the Cruise the St. Lawrence. We're also working, of course, with Hawaii out there. Um, Banana Coast was a project that we worked on for many years. So we have a lot that we can share on that topic. But in addition, what she said, the open panel was all about sustainability, sustainability, and sustainability, and how we start putting more sustainability into our everyday practices. So I think that's a, a wise lesson for all of us in the cruise industry on how we begin to integrate more sustainability into our everyday working practices. But one of the things that did catch my eye this last week that I thought that I would bring up was booking.com. And she did say that that was a topic at the conference. Uh, booking.com and what took them so long to put cruises on there 
and will it change the landscape for travel advisors? That's the question that needs to be answered, I guess, that we'll all be looking forward to. Now, there were a lot of news. There was a lot of news this last week, including changes coming at Azamara. And I know, Roger, you and I will, will talk about those sometime when we get back together. But in the meantime, you have a wonderful time traveling the world with Marie. I know you're down in Mexico City. You're, you stopped off in Phoenix. I'm here back in Miami holding down the fort working on our project for our take on cruise. We have several projects that we're working on and that we hope to announce in the new year that are super exciting. So I'm gonna keep working and pushing those forward. You enjoy your travels. Thanks for the update from FCCA and we'll see everybody next week. Bye.